You're even tanner. Did that effortlessly this is the big one yeah i just gotta say going into this episode knowing it's the finale of season one i have a lot of unanswered questions yeah but at the same time it's just season one i know there's three more seasons that are after this so it's like what I'm not expecting all my questions to be answered. In fact, knowing this show, I'm expecting more questions to come up. But this is the finale for season one. It took me a while to get here. But I'm gonna try to speed things up a little bit, but still do what I can to give you guys the best videos possible. And uh, like I said, this is the big one. <laughs> Lucky squad never give up. Let's get into it. The wall. Damn. Facts. They be forgetting my sauce at McDonald's. Bro, Aaron has gone through it in this season. As soon as we heard that voice, we knew he was transforming. Because they put that reverb on his voice when he does that, like, growly voice. Who's gonna pay for that? Woo! He's just looking at her like, yeah, I did it. The wall. Mario. That was the first thing I thought of is the goddesses and the crazy guy. Wow. Praying for the walls. Structure. Wow. She infiltrated the walls. Oh, this show is dark. Is she capable? I know the armor titan could run through the wall. It looks like there's some insane game of tag that they're playing right now. Damn it, you kids! Hopefully he doesn't attack Mikasa again. That was some bullshit. Oh, I love reacting to this show. Can't hate reacting to this show. Mmm, gotta have the brains. Sure, you're gonna have to outsmart her. She's a smart blonde. Why? Oh, because it's open air. For the last time, my name isn't Roger. Damn, they didn't even have a chance to react. But I always do. Sheesh, no regard. Annie, what is wrong with you? Why are you such a monster? I don't even want to see them fight. I want to see them have a conversation. Huh. You always seem bored. Yeah. Like right now when she's murdering hundreds? Oh yeah, her kicks are crazy. That's why I'm shocked we went all the way back to Annie. To be the female titan. She got paid off. Damn, the heart and skin works even against a titan punch. Ooh. Okay, Aaron. With the grapple move. Oh, that's terrifying. Even if we capture the female titan, they might destroy the whole city first. Yeah, like, this is, like, not cool. Mikasa, get up and kill people. Many casualties, both civilian and military. He doesn't like that. Yeah, a little bit. Hey, Erwin, what would you like to drink? Soda. Accountability. <laughs> Ever heard of it? Yeah, I mean, if you knew the Titans would. Oh no. Oh no. Why are we showing bloody little girls walking down the street? Is Levi wearing a suit? This will help humanity. Wow. Alright, well you guys are doing some work. Sounds good. <laughs> Ooh, 
Isn't he beautiful? Bro, you're gonna make me write this quote on my wall. In order to overcome a monster, you must be willing to throw aside your humanity. I'm sorry, did she just kick him with a hardened skin? Oh, a flashback. So Annie knows Aaron's father? No. No, stop cheating with the brass knuckles. She just whoops his ass and runs away. Big man. Kills you. Oh, kill the Titan. Ooh, he's a maniacal, bro. What the hell? My guy just turned blue eyed and. What the hell? You don't know if Aaron can recognize you. Yeah, right now he's in a different state. Yo, what is this? What have you become? You're even Tanner. Oh, he did that effortlessly. My guy turned into a super titan. Oh no. Oh, this is like a last resort type thing to try to escape stop cheating with the damn solid ice fingers Mikasa won't let that happen if Mikasa dies I'm, I'm selling my love that form that damn you ain't looking so hot now fall oh oh what did he do? Oh god, Aaron is on one. Alright, no, 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 no. Alright, now you're going too far. I am free. You're still inside the walls. Mentally. Morally. Oh, there she is. Damn, she doesn't have the same energy inside as Aaron does. Now what? Huh? Fusing? What in the Dragon Ball Z? Don't eat a valuable witness. What? What the hell just happened? Let me rewind this again. I missed something here. Okay, they said they start fusing together. Levi comes in, and then skeletons. But then he's back there. I'm so lost. Aaron comes out, but the Titans fuse together? But Levi stopped Aaron from eating? What we can share so far, am I really gonna read this all on camera? I guess so. The walls. The year. 784. One blistering hot night, a miner decided to dig under Walsina to live within the inner ring. Life in Walsina would be pretty nice. Okay, yeah, because that's where we know, that's where you want to be is Walsina. That thought had come to him suddenly a few days ago as he dug with his shovel deep in a coal mine. In a way, you could call it divine inspiration. And so for the next few days, he wandered along the wall, finally settling on a spot where the dense forest pressed against it. No one would chance upon him, and the overhead leaves would shelter him in his task from the prying eye of the guards above. On the next night, he began. Using his trusty shovel, the miner began to dig. The work went smoothly, and before long, the pit was as deep as he was tall. When he could no longer fling the dirt outside it, he stuffed it into sacks, climbing a ladder to discard it. Completely dedicated to the task at hand, he took only a few short breaks to drink water and to ease his weary muscles. After spending 20 years of his life digging without a day of rest, what? 
kind of madman. The miner knew he was an expert at it. And during that time, he learned to dig deeper, more quickly and more efficiently than anyone else. Tunnels that would stump any other miner were no match for his shovel. But that day was different. He dug for hours, yet never seemed to get anywhere. As he dug, he probed to either side of the main pit with his shovel, but it was of no use. The wall's foundation seemed to go down forever deep into the earth blocking his path at every turn. Still, he persevered. Any thought of digging his way to an easy life inside Walsina had been long forgotten. Mm. He simply wanted to conquer the wall. I'm willing to bet all the years I've spent digging that I will beat this wall, he said to himself, wiping the sweat from his brow. The hole was more than four or five times the miner's height when he struck hard rock. He wondered, bedrock? But it appeared to be of the same material as the wall's foundation itself. The miner swung his shovel down hard on the rock. The shovel shattered, but the rock rock was unscathed. Uh, unscathed, I think is how you pronounce it. The miner sighed, and his sigh was deeper than any hole he dug in the previous 20 years. Well, that was amazing. That was an amazing passage. Ah, but there's more. With a frown, his friend questioned the wall. It's weird, isn't it? The miner said, lifting his drink to his lips. Who knew that the wall went so deep underground? The pair sat across from one another at a table in the back of a tavern in a seedy part of town. Most days, the miner would go there with his friend, his only friend, after work. That day, the day after he tried to dig under the wall, they'd gone there as usual once the work day was done. And then the miner told his friend the story, certain that his friend could keep a secret. Maybe we're surrounded by walls not only above the ground, but below the ground, too. I mean, that's what it sounds like if the walls go d that deep into the ground tell me something what exactly are the walls his friend cut him off with a cough glancing around the tavern the patrons were all busy drinking hitting on the tavern maid or yelling at one another no one was watching them but even so the miner decided not to say another word about it if anyone heard him the military police would be there in an instant does it really matter his friend asked just keep on living here as you always have you're poor but you have a job every day and enough money that you can drink isn't that enough yeah the miner replied, yeah, it is. I'll go back to digging. In the end, I guess that's my lot in life. But the next day, the miner didn't show up for work, nor the next, nor the day after that. His friend went to his house many times, but never saw any sign of him. The miner had no relatives, nor other close friends, so there was no one to ask where he might have gone. Unsure what to do, his friend eventually went to the garrison and told them the whole story. The next day, the military police and the garrison organized a large-scale search it was a little excessive for one poor miner, even if the miner was a criminal who tried to pass under the walls. His friend couldn't understand why they were so bent on finding him, but they never found a trace of the miner, nor even the pit he dug. And one day, his friend also vanished, never to be seen again. Wow. This show is deeper than I thought. Anya. Damn, why you gotta ask about the other chick? Is she stuck in there? Damn. Oh. Okay. Well, she's probably in the same state that Aaron was in, right? That one episode where he couldn't get his attention. Is that a good idea? All for nothing? That's like a constant theme in this, like, what are we doing this for? Like, we have learned nothing. That's a line that has stuck with me that the Survey Corps commander yelled out in the first episode. You had a suspect. Because they're lazy. I mean, no, but that's all I got. Yes. <laughs> Mm. We can't crack that shell somehow? Like, why is this all for nothing? John is tall. How tall is John? Frozen. Okay. Don't be so sure. I want to know the information. What's up with this connection between Aaron and Annie? Like, why is it so strong? Damn. Yeah, he lost his mind when he became the Super Titan. Or whatever the hell that was. Oh, Mikasa. Their bond is, like, crazy. Sometimes I think Aaron takes it for granted, though. 
エレンならできると思うそんな化け物になって巨人を駆逐したとして There's still that big ass armor titan When's he gonna show up again? I don't know why. I think it's his father, to be honest. There's something with his father. There's the birds. You guys said the birds were important. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming right now. Nah, don't be eating bread. Oh, that guitar. Nah, 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 nah. Music in the show is fire. My boy is eating all the soup, all the bread. Now it's our turn to attack. Hold on, go back. Compared to when we never imagined that humans could transform into titans. Now we captured an enemy. That's a big step. We'll get them all. Let's do it. I thought we already attacked 57 times, but Aaron Yeager, Survey Corps were suspended. Wow. And he was granted the Survey Corps. Hmm. Interesting. Find out what it was that held them captive. There's some underlying theme. The key. He got the key back. He got the key back. Well, that was a hell of a first season. So many damn questions, though. Like, so many. I mean, overall, I'm not necessarily uh, satisfied with the way this season ended. I mean, I know I could just easily go watch season two and start that, but this would have left me feeling so empty the first time around. I mean, now they have more hope, okay? I think this... This first season was about realizing they do have the tools to wipe out the Titans. You know what I mean? Like they, they have learned so much, so many damn sacrifices. But hey, if you can't sacrifice anything, you can't change anything, right? Definitely want to know what's going on with the father. I still, I feel like something is definitely up with the father. And I wonder who else could become a Titan. I wonder who is the big armored Titan. Who's biting their finger or extracting blood or whatever you gotta do to become a titan? Who's doing that to become that big giant one? Yeah, there's just a lot of... <laughs> a lot of questions. I really don't understand why Annie and Aaron had such strong of a connection though. I don't know if the show really established that, but maybe they did. I'll go back and watch it again to see, but I don't really know. It would have been in the beginning episodes. It would have had to have been episode three through five that would have been like the only time it would have been able to happen i think now they had some interaction after that i don't know i gotta go back and see we're gonna we're gonna start season two really soon so we gotta progress appreciate you guys watching i'll see you in season two or in just the next video that i do what? Wait a minute. Did you guys really think I forgot about the last scene that you guys told me to check out? You're like, stick to the end of the credits. Stick to the end of the credits, Joey. Stick to the end of the credits. We don't want you to forget. Well, guess what? I forgot. I'm recording this quite a few days later, but we're going to watch it right now. I'm pretty excited to check out more because now the story is just going to extend for me. Even if it's just a little cut scene. A prediction for what I think this final scene is going to show me. Something with the father. The key. Here we go. Ooh, more emphasis on the wall. All the marks from when Andy was climbing. Oh! <laughs> what? The motherfucker was inside the wall? Bro, hold on. What? Yo. Did that thought ever cross my mind? That something could actually be in the wall but how how thick is the wall hey how's it going okay that was lit it was it was small but it was worth it that's what she said all right cue the music see you in the next one Before, so I ain't mad that you was sleep. It was W's galore. I was bound to see defeat. Yeah, yeah, I was down for sure.